Now, the Social Security and National Insurance Trust key members who failed to merge their SNIT and personal ID numbers on the Ghana card by June 2022 will be denied access to their pension and other Social Security-related services. Acting Public Affairs Manager of SNIT, Charles Aquega Shong, believes the extra six months extension of the deadline is enough to capture all contributors. The Social Security and National Insurance Trust NIT has extended the deadline for members of the scheme to, you know, match their SNIT and their personal ID numbers on the Ghana card. What really went into this very decision? Was it about low turnout, apathy, or a means to even widen the contribution net? The management has answers. Let's engage them. If, if you're unable to merge, you actually been denying yourself access to Social Security services. Um, we are taking this initiated not just because of the benefit or the convenience of using one card for multiple transactions, but also there's a legal requirement. Employers also have a role to play. They will be paying contributions for their workers. And if their workers are unable to merge, it means they cannot pay the contributions for those workers into the future. And by not being able to pay also, if they come and pay later, they'll be paying penalty. All right. So. Employers also have a role to play. NI has the option where employers can invite them to their premises to come and do the registration for their staff. But that will have to go under some form of arrangement. So we shouldn't wait till June ending, hoping that Senate is going to extend it again. There is not going to be any future extension. So it is best for us to merge now. And I encourage employers, get your workers to do the merger because it is going to have an implication on you and your payment of social security contributions for them. So please do merge and merge now.